Hello. So, we're back. I wonder, do the encounter scale with my level? Like, would I even have in this region here um, high level encounters? Or my level encounters? Or d does it depend on the region where I am? I can test this out for a moment. I need to catch my breath. What was here, by the way? Uh, beast attacks. All right, those were the wolf packs. Time to search for the spot to rest. Hmm. Only traveling and exploring at the moment here. No fight this time, thank god. Okay, nothing in here. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Thought that would be something else. Okay, that means we have basically explored everything here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't go too far from Tuskdale. All right, and we also have like a new um, town here. Trade guide, how fitting. <laughs> shouldn't forget that. Hmm. Okay, I wish there would be a little more guidance uh, when it comes to the management. I mean, there is, but... It's not super uh, like natural. It's a lot of text, and mm, I don't really feel like uh, going through all the text all the time. We'll make the sharp, sharp bend here, widening into a deep pool with lily pads, freshly felled trees, stumps on the shore that can't hang in the water. Mm, I don't even remember what that was. Bonuses of the same type usually don't stack. I rediscovered a very old game, like from the beginnings of my, well, let's say PC gaming career. And that game is called Siege. It is a fantasy themed uh, castle defense game. Pretty neat. Gotta see if I make a let's play about that as well. Or long play, whatever you want to call it. Right. So there was something. Oh, that mm, fairy Nixie something. And. We wanted to do something for her, but I forgot what, what it was. Yeah, the good old days where I didn't even own um, my own computer. I just went and visited a friend and we played like all day. I owned con consoles. That was my the, the true beginning of my gaming career if you want i started out with a sega master system that was uh, my very own my first very own console and after that i had a sega genesis my father had a Commodore, Commodore 64, though, and I played a lot on, on that as, as well. So it kind of was Sega Master System slash Commodore 64, so you can basically tell how old I am from that. <laughs> old fart. I didn't um, experience the Atari phase, though. That was right before my time. But apparently my fa father had a Pong cons console, my my parents, so 
that would be the generation that truly uh, experienced the whole gaming thing from the beginning to end but my parents never were gamers after that not like me a maniac an addict a junkie oh well on the other hand oh, there are so many things that are truly better that you can do with your spare time I'm not so sure people are always quick to say yeah imagine what you could, could do and then they, uh, if I come, if I ask them, and then they don't come really up with something that is more convincing, if you ask me. At least not for my taste. It's like, yeah, well, I could read, okay, or uh, I could like go out, okay, or I could learn another language. Well, and then what? <laughs> you see what I mean? Besides, I said, I'm kind of learning lang a new language while I'm doing, uh, while I'm gaming anyway. But, uh, yeah. Gaming is like a, a really convenient game, uh, like a really convenient scapegoat, aren't they? Um, it's like... I don't know, it's so easy to bash on that being unproductive, but I don't know, reading and watching a movie is basically the same, maybe even less productive because you don't use your brain really that much. Maybe reading, well, yeah, reading is different, you use your imagination more, I guess, but watching a movie, that's even more passive than gaming. Candle me a tower, what's this? About 200 years ago, the countries of Rostland and Isaya existed within the ter territory that is now modern Brevoy. Alright. You don't get any experience for expl exploring, right? In other games you get that. In MMOs, mainly. Ooh, the Curse of Candlemere. Stolen lands are full of weird places. Lost. Oh, this is still... This is all troll trouble? Jesus, weird. A full of weird places. Take the island in the middle of Candlemere Lake, for instance. It seems like just some regular remote place from afar. <coughs> Calm and quiet. But the local fishers all keep their boats as far away from the island as possible. And there are tales of ghostly lights. Oh, dancing on the island's shores at night. Some say that something terrible happened at the tower tower those are lost souls right those are uh, like um, ah damn the name escapes me now anyway some say that something terrible happened at the tower long ago something so dark and abominable that the place is still cursed true or not we have to explore the place anyway it would be outrageous to have a barony with an uncharted spot in the middle of its map huh. sounds intriguing here we are, before our very eyes, Candlemere Island, dark, terrifying and mysterious. Actually, the shore doesn't seem terrifying at all, famous last words. A ruined tower is the only thing spoiling the view. Time for a walk, it seems. Hmm. <laughs> Ominous and foreboding? No, not at all. Yeah, empty vessels from the peoples that haven't returned. Maybe it's a, like a ruse, like people want us to want to be left alone, and they want to keep keep other guys av away by by spreading rumors. <clears throat> a note wrapped in an oiled leather. We came to this island at dusk. Decided to spend a night at the shore and go inland, inland at dawn. We've seen some lights floating over the underbrush. For some reason, a uh, will-o'-wisp, that's the name that escaped me. For some reason, they don't 
approach keep their distance from us. Tomorrow we'll head for the ruins. The cl cleric and the paladin who hired me to guide them keep aloof. They exchange whispers about something hidden in these ruins and fall silent as soon as I come close. Ooh. We come, we've come here to search for treasures for a man called Gunderson. But these two seem to have some plans of their own. They are evil. It would bother me less if Rismal wasn't a cleric of Nethys. That's um, the um, deity that only uh, values magic above all, all else. So it, the god is super neutral. But, uh, well, it, uh, magic is super important and he basically negle neglects everything else for it. And I don't know, he possibly can be evil if he doesn't get it his way, I, I guess. People say that the moods and methods of his followers change as often as those of their two-faced god. Right, he was two-faced. For now, at least, the cleric behaves nicely, except for constant frantic speeches about the rune. For constant frantic speeches about the runes. Anyways, Brit is a paladin of Irori, another neutral god that is uh, like the mm, eastern god, I guess, that has like a, a Far East touch, like Buddhism kind of tranquility sort of thing going. So I guess I, I guess so I guess I can rely on his sense of justice. All right. Uh, uh, there are like some monks, some Buddhist monks or so. Uh, not sure about this. Maybe he's even lawful, not neutral. We've heard about strange things that take place on the Candlemere Lake. A few days ago, local folks, folks saw a bright flash of light over the tower at the island, and no one could explain what it was. Another strange thing I witnessed myself. When we were coming to the island on our boat, I noticed an old geezer on the shore. And this island is thought to be deserted. He's a ghost. Ugh, he's going to eat us. I guess the geezer Geezer saw us too, Geezer. Because he disappeared. Told you he's a ghost. I would track the old hermit down. But I don't dare to, le to leave the campsite unattended. Can't help thinking this island is really cursed, as locals used to say. If the curse is just a fable, and if Rismal doesn't try any tricks, we'll come back here and then and I'll take this note away. <laughs> that didn't happen. And if you find this note, traveler, hop on your boat and go back where you came from. Rastel, bless me. Maury Fockray. Uh, what, what, was, what was the name? Martha Fokker? Martha Fokker, that was the name, right? from that Robert De Niro movie. <laughs> oh well. We're doomed! Everybody pee your pants now. We're still next to the river. You can wash them here. Boat is pulled ashore. Oars are neatly stashed inside. As if nothing weird happened. Colds are already cold. Mm-hmm. Alright. How often am I saving again? Oh, saving frenzy. It is done. What are you doing there? I don't even want to know what you're do doing there. Humping that log. That tree. Ooh, what's this? Those plants look a bit odd. Ooh, what was that the rabbit that ma made that sound? They lo look like flesh-eating plants a bit. How big is this map anyway? Somewhat big. Well, the rabbits are doing fine, I guess. The plants are not eating the rabbits. He cannot stand 
turned against me. Okay. War Wisp. Information updated. Base. Not inspected. Not inspected. DC 25, DC 30. That's quite a lot. Quite a high check. Mm, strength 1. Size small. Is that level 11? Are you kidding me? Dexterity 31? Oh boy. We're fucked. <laughs> Lightning form, reflex save, except mm, my main character, I guess. Consider me provoked. Are we even doing damage here? And it is, it's gone. This is for you. But this is for you. We are friends! The power of friendship! She's so positive. She's so enthusiastic. Man, now you're messing with my combat system. That's not nice. No, they actually it actually works, even though it shows question marks. It's just one wisp, guys! Come on! How does this li the lightning worse work anyway? I guess we better spread out a bit, huh? Unworthy. Hmm. Okay. So maybe we should use the time to uh, heal ourselves a bit lost. or not this body holds <laughs> crap oh no it's attacking me I won't give up. how is the damage mm, halfway well could be doable but 31 dexterity? That seems a bit high. You cannot stand against me. Hmm. Time path at an end. Jesus. Now it's shooting way we more often. Will this help? Will this work? Oh, right. I don't even remember. Did I read something about magic missiles and uh, will-o'-wisps that th those don't work? Man, this is never informative here, right? Spook lights. I like the concepts of willow, the concept of willow wisps. I find that intriguing. I don't know why, because they're not really like um, super obviously dangerous. They're like a little mystic and creepy, you know. There's, it's just a light. Don't worry. But then they go, yeah, take this, eat a, eat a lightning bolt. So, well, actually I don't find that part intriguing at all. But I guess it kind of has to defend itself. But normally it's just there and kind of lures you the, the, to the wrong places. So the, that you get lost, right, in the swamp or something. Evil creatures, they are evil, that feed on the strong psychic emanations of terrified creatures, delight in tempting gullible travelers, travelers into dangerous situations. Their most common simple tactics like positioning themselves over cliffs or quicksand. How nice of you. 
can glow. And they're beautiful in a sense. I should mention that as well. Most frequently yellow, white, green or blue can even vary their luminosity to create patterns. How nice of them. They're like a la la lava lamp. Totally beautiful. If they weren't that evil, then you could put them in your room, you know? Like hire them for a while. But alas... Okay, Jaisal, you're there, so Haram, you can... Like, heal yourself, I guess. Uh, no, you're still in range. Yeah, maybe you should heal. You can die, you. What's going on with you? Check now. Start your healing, and then heal yourself first. Oh well, now you're coming all. In the same line of fire. That's not good. The dog is still alive. Okay. Okay, no move it, Lindsay. Away. Does this work? Um, natural invisibility. Not, not affected by target spell resistance. Move action. Alright. Miss. Miss. What does actually hit? Deals damage to dog. Lindsay hits harem. Deals two points. Deals thirty-two damage. Miss. Octavia deals five damage. Octavia is the only one that's doing damage. Magic missile. Let's see. All right. Um. Since the will o wisp is away at the moment, you might as well heal, uh, heal Ekundayo. And you might want to take a potion. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> yeah, Octavia does damage. Very nice. So, um, s does this help? Invisibly outlining invisible things for the duration of. Let's try it. Does it also uh, cover but dust? Cannot be removed. It's just for making them visible. It doesn't have any other penalties, right? So, let's try this. Um, and you try a jolt, I guess. Oh, what's happening here? What are you doing, Harem? I fear you need to drink something. This is not an easy fight for some reason. Miss, miss, miss. Yeah, the. the even the uh, magical enhanced weapons don't really do damage. Um, just heal yourself again. Chase. You might want to cast a bone shaker here. Maybe this helps. And you keep on magic missileing. The glitter dust, we don't know yet if it really worked. Wall Wisp. I mean, what? why is it called Wall Wisp? Since, since when do lights go to war? That's a bit odd. I don't know. Ear piercing scream. No, that's not good enough. Oh well, we can still heal our friends here. Uh, 
And he's almost dead again. Yeah, the whole uh, usual attacks, the normal attacks, all miss. It's really not working at all. Maybe you can cure Harren in time. I doubt it though. Because that war wisp does quite some damage. I hope you won't die. Anyway, we should uh, use all the magic missile that we can get. What you doing now? Oh no, 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 don't heal. Mm. I guess we're healing him now. Attack of opportunity. Uh, zero. Oh, isn't that lovely. Whom are you attacking now? Can't decide yet. Haven't decided yet, huh? Well... I guess we could give you another target. Wow, hang on. We'll just move away a bit first. Now. So. Another bone shaker. D did the bone shaker work anyway? Miss. Yeah, of course it is a miss. Nice. Yeah, magic missile works really well here. How about a little fist in your light lightning behind? Um, we'll save glitter dust from what? From the dark, huh? Yeah. Hmm. What now? Oh, you're still casting, I see. Bone Shaker failed because she's being attacked, I see. Makes sense. Heal a bit. And Lindsay. Um, cure light wounds, really? Yeah, I guess you can heal Victor a bit. Telekinetic fist, did it work? Miss. Hmm. I need to do better, guys. Uh, what do you have here? Let's try another acid splash. This can't be oh over. shit. Savage Bill miss. I thought you would try an acid splash, Victor. What are you doing there? Okay, it's attacking the dog now. It will be dead in one run. Okay, so that also works. Octave deals full damage. Acid splash. That, that is good to know. Um, you don't have anything like that, though. Well, I'll give you another dog to slaughter. Keep on acid splashing, guys. It's the only thing that we can do, apparently. Should have started with that earlier. Okay, the dog is already dead. Summon dog information updated. Oh, that's kind. Seven reduced. Look at this guy. It's a skull. A glowing skull. That's not nice. That's not as beautiful as I thought. I thought it was just a light. A light source. Hmm. Don't you have anything 
that you can cast that is like true magic guess not You'll... oh boy and it's gone ah you asshole let's go into the glitter dust region so that we can still see it and now Octavia is dying oh that's a uh, quite a big piece of you know what oh boy she will gray out if she dies probably right Ah, oh, please survive Octavia hey can someone help me yeah I guess drink drink fast oh do we have a magic missile no uh, someone else has some wa ma magic missile wand fireball that would be overkill it would hurt ourselves with that um, where's the don't we have any health Ah, there it is. I die. You die, indeed. Okay, so... Ah, good, you gay. You need to tank it for a second. And I know it's not much, but you kind of have to... Survive a bit. Cannot hide from me. Hmm. Do you have any spells in here? Acid flask. Well, I don't want to kill my other guys. Vanish. I can barely see it here. Come on. Hit it. Miss. Ah, they're all dying. Come on. Doesn't have that much health left. I see the faces of my family. Ah, the faces, yeah. Probably. Ah, this is hateable. Hateable, hateable. It resets the spell. That's horrible. Glitter dust would be the perfect spell for this. Man, just uh, survive a second here. Come on. Don't be like that. Please. One more try, guys. Oh. A I hate you. Look at it. It's almost dead. Oh. Cure that wound, huh? Vanish. You know what? A stealthy approach. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. Of course it sees me, right? I don't see it, but... Come on. Die. Ah, unbelievable. Oh, look at this. And even level up. Jesus. Sweet Lord, have mercy. Oh well. Leveling up time. Do we get loot at least? And please don't tell me the whole swamp is like that. That this was just a taste of what, it, what to come. What is to come here. Had no loot at all. Oh boy. Horrendous. Oh well. The entrails near. No, leveling up is near first. Before you die. Cleric, it gives the finger. It, gi it gives us the green thumb up. All right, then let's do it. This is new, right? They, w whether it's from the DLC or, um, they did that with an update. I'm not sure. But we could now theoretically up level with the kineticist as well. I kinda have to look 
offline into this a bit. I uh, have to read like what it is about. Well, let's do it actually. Kineticists are living channels for elemental matter and energy, manipulating the world around them, manipulating the world around them by drawing upon inner reserves from their own bodies. Kineticists often awaken to their kinetic abilities during a violent or traumatic experience, oof, releasing their power involuntarily. So, okay. As kinetic power is seldom inherited, kinetics, kineticists are rarely able to find mentors to guide them. So they're a bit like sorcerers in that sense. So they must delve into these mysteries on their own to learn to con show their gifts. Are they like the D and D, like uh, the, the 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 chaos mage thingies that like they well, they have like super uh, spellcasting abilities, but they have trouble controlling them, and sometimes the spells go like haywire and, and they cast some wild wild stuff like involuntarily it's, you, you get some completely different spells and it's always a bit of a gamble is that the class that they reproduced here kineticists generally use their powers to assail their foes from range but based on the way their talents develop they can channel their kinetic abilities for a variety of situations i guess there will be an npc that can join our party that maybe is one of them would be interesting <coughs> Kineticists are usually quite different from their families and friends, so they often strike out on their own or alongside others with extraordinary talents. Extraordinary talents. Hmm. That's all. No new prestige class, though, right? No. And still no witch! Eh. Pity. Real shame. All right, two points. That's a lot. Religion is most important to you. Heron and um, perception, I guess. Mm, anything else? New spells, huh? Did you get new spells? Probably. Mm, not here, not there, here. Another slot for us. Flick moderate, cure moderate. And some monster. What else do you have? Remove, this is all situational. Find traps, we don't need that. Grace, we have that as ability. Uh, your movement does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Not important, I'm sorry. Blessing of courage and life. One minute per level. This sounds like a better buff. Like a better blessing, huh? With this prayer you provide long-lasting sucker. Sucker? <laughs> to a wounded creature. For as long as the effect lasts, the target Oh, it's on a target, not on a group. One free friendly creature. Plus two morale bonus on saving throws for your death. Can choose to enter spell. Lose a saving throw bonus, but is healed of one d8 point damage. Let's see. Plus one. So it's a buff slash healing spell. Can I choose another bone shaker? Yeah, I can. Arrow of Law. Mm, well, it's uh, nah. It's only like for one or two thirds of the encounters, I guess. But then it rocks. But we only have four slots, I think. South burst is not bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's a, a group damage spell. Eh, shoo! Away with you. Mm. Yeah, let's take this one. 
I like it when Lindsay does it. Though I would prefer it if each and like party, um, each, if each companion had like a theme going. Uh, but I really do need more um, group damage, like AOE stuff. Blindness, permanent, and it's a curse. That so sounds mean. Dispel magic didn't work yet. Contagion, that's evil. Disease, bubonic plague. Oh well. Prayer, what does this do? All creatures. Uh, plus one on all attack. Weapon damage, road saves. Blah blah blah. While each of your foes takes minus one on on such rolls. So this is like the better buff version. Version. Feeble body, minus six to constitution. It's super nasty if you get that as a player, but the NPCs don't really give a flying fuck about those constitution, uh, about those permanent mm, ability and attribute damage things, right? Mm. Animate that. That's a bit like summon monster, right? But also more situational because you need. Do you need uh, dead bodies for that? I'm not even sure. Mm, yeah, maybe not. They're not that good though. This might be again wolves. So sad that the monsters are always just wolves. Why not give us something else? Something more interesting. Some variation. Uh, oh no, this spell summons an extra planner monitor lizard and, and wolves and dogs. Yeah, alright, I'll take it. Why not? <coughs> so, this would be the first one. Share your will. Jaisal, dear sweet Jaisal, why are you always so mean to us? Base attack, teamwork feat. Ooh, we're getting one now, again. Kind of was wondering what this is. Death Embrace. You heal damage instead of taking damage from child negative energy. Hmm, could be useful in certain situations. If you are undead, then you instead do not take damage from positive energy. Okay, whatever. We're not having it yet. Anyway. Five points. Perception, most definitely. Law, religion, we're good with our religion skills, aren't we? Like, lots of folks have that. Knowledge of Crane. Use magic device, sure, why not? And another one. Mobility, athletics, maybe? Stealth? Ah, I think that ship has sailed, right? She w won't be a stealthy character. Um, yeah, let's try mobility. Minus two from armor. Alright. Move enables you to move near opponents with a provoking attacks. Keep your balance, escape from restraints. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, just remember the web, right? Mm, there it is. The teamwork feed. Outflank whenever you're flanking the same creature. Your flanking bonus on attack rolls increases to plus four. In addition, whenever you score a critical hit against a flank creature, it provokes an attack of unit for real. That could be a, could be some mean synergy. Hmm. Back to back. Your allies own eyes are your own and yours are his. Uh, nah. I think we're we're working with flanking, which we definitely are. 
um, even though we only have two like um, melee uh, fighters at the moment, but but some of the um, spells do count as as flanking as well, right? Like the ranged attacks. Eh? So let's let's see what else is there. Mm, plus one bonus on saving throws. Mm, adjacent, so you have to be really close. Huh? Shield wall, shielded cast, and now coordinated maneuvers, uh, co combat maneuver, combat maneuver defense. Mm, concentration checks. Nah. No, let's stick with outflank. Actually. Oh, you do get a new spell, you little girl! Beautiful! Good, good. Um, what will we take here? Something nasty. Castigate. You compel the target to beg for forgiveness. So this is crowd controller. Failed save on will. It covers in fear. Shaken for one round? Are you kidding me? Each round after a cowering subject may attempt a new save to enter. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd rather take hold person then. See invisibility. Mm, maybe take this for the rats. Since the glitter didn't work for them. For the rare rats. Do we have that for one? I'm not even sure. Uh, Oh, Bone Shaker, we cannot take this because we have that already. So, oh, we could take Cure, but hmm, do we want another one that can cure? She's always on the front lines as well. Hmm, what does this do? One plus one on attack, Meh. and temporary hit points. Hmm. I mean, it's always good to have options, right? Uh, if there would have been any damage thing, I would have taken it. This I would like to take it, but it's very situational. This all cure moderate wounds is always right. Mm, okay. Complete. Gotta remember the outflank thing. Be on guard. Sure. Level up. Full ranger. Yeah, everybody will stay in his or her class. Oops. Didn't mean to double click there. Stealths. Athletics. Oh, can we get some bony? Yeah, we can. Trickery. Oh, trickery. I don't need that, though. This arm. Meh. Oh, well, it's a good bonus, though. Yeah, let's invest invest one and leave it at that. Um, that's not worth it. Yeah, what the hell? Let's take it. It's a bit. Uh, uh, there are some variety things there, but never mind. I'll take it. Archery can select from point blank shot. All right. So they don't want us to take this improved precise shot. We already have that. Hmm. Your range attacks ignore anything but total concealment and cover. Your yeah. range attacks ignore the missed chance granted to targets by anything less than total concealment. Well, I trust. I trust the uh, green finger there. Fighter level four. Appropriate weapon. So, do I have the prerequisites or not? Do I need to have them? Point blank master. And if it choose one type of range weapon, you do not provoke attacks of opportunity when firing the selected weapon while threatened. Oh, 
interesting. Many shot. So this is green though. Rapid shot, we do have this. When making a full attack with a bow, your first attack fires two arrows. Hmm. If the attack hits, both arrows hits. Apply precision based damage such as sneak and critical only for only once for this attack. Yeah, it's still good though. Damage bonuses from using a composite bow with the high strengths apply to each arrow. So some apply, some don't. Let's do other damage bonus. Damage reduction and resistance apply separately to each arrow. Let's take this. Right. I wrote it like I saw it. Let's level you up as well. Another bard. And what can we do for you? Stealth, knowledge. Mm, you have points everywhere. Uh, knowledge world. Use magic device. Trickery. Yeah, let's go with this. <coughs> Bard talent. Kenny observer. Uh, perception check plus four. No. Bonus combat feed. That is good. Fast stealth. Uh, we barely use stealth, to be honest. This ability, it's a bit odd, so, because normally I, I, I use stealth a lot. Hmm. I don't know why I don't do it this time. Because, probably because it is, it takes more time. And, um, um uh, I don't know. <coughs> Full speed, okay. Iron guts, um, cast iron stomach, withstand poison, plus one on save against poison, plus four on saves against all spells, cause the character to be nauseated. Second, nah, combat trick is probably better. Skill focus, uh, plus three on all checks. Mm. And I don't think that this is good. Okay, so combat trick it is. Hmm, you're using that crossbow a lot with some spells in between, so we should take a look at those here. Minus one on all range to get more damage, rapid shot. Hmm. Fire one additional time. All of your attack take a minus two penalty. Eh. Mm. Not so fond of that. Armor? No. Blind fight? You don't lose dexterity to armor class. Uh, when fighting uh, an invisible attacker. That's no advantages related to hitting you in melee. Meh. Uh, minus one penalty on melee attacks and combat to gain plus dodge. Meh. A number of additional attacks of opportunity to your dex bonus. Mm. Coordinated defense. This is a team feat. Uh, let's remember that Jason just got a team feat. Mm, so. It was about flanking. I'm not sure that this applies here. Coordinated maneuvers. Um, nah, dazzling display, defense, dodge. This might be interesting. I always like this, some certain things here. Uh, plus one dodge to your AC. Condition that makes a loose da dex. Mm-hmm. And Doran's uh, improved initiative. Eh, I'm not so happy with this one as well. 
martial weapons outflank there it is mm, whenever you are flanking the same creature does it count as flanking if you're using ranged weapons I'm not sure does this feed deal an additional precision damage melee attack yeah forget it and the rest is not that interesting so maybe I will go with dodge Mm. Yeah, if only I knew if this applies to ranged weapons. Uh, let's um, let's take dodge for now. Um, I can still reload if I think uh, I've missed a. Perfect, super duper opportunity there. So, you like singing and sound and be dazzling and enchanting people, right? And summoning from time to time. We could summon maybe some <coughs> elementals, but eh, makes your eyes shine blood red and allows you to see vital areas. This allows you to make sneak attack as attacks as a rogue ability of the same name. Deal additional damage. One round per level. That's not a long time. Hmm. To get some sneak. Hmm. Mirror image. That's always fun. And it lasts for quite a while. Hmm. 1d4 images plus 1 per 3 caster levels. What else? Ten minutes on a single creature. No. Cacophonous call. Call. That's that's a sound thing. But we already have this, don't we? Blaring cacophony of discordant sounds, making it hard for the target. I really would love to make them like thematic, right? All the characters use certain sections of the spell, of the list of spells. Uh, creature against the nauseated condition for the duration of the spell. Eh, blur. One minute, that's good. Distortion guns, con subject concealment, 20% missed chance. A sea invisibility spell does not counteract the blur effect, but a true seeing spell does. Opponents that cannot see the subject ignore the spell's effect. Mm. Permanent. Yeah, that's nasty, but I don't want to give it to her. <coughs> yeah, maybe give her something defensive for a change. <coughs> what about the scare, though? All enemies, so it is an AoE effect. Crowd control AoE. Will partial all targeted of less than. Oh, it's. um limited to a certain level range hit dice become frightened yeah I, I don't like those spells scare this spells remove fear yeah I think I'll go with mirror image yeah let's do it can I cast this no it's personal I cannot cast it on somebody else pity anyway it's good enough oh The hold up? What's the hold up? Um, right. What level are we anyway now? S from 5 to 6, right? Oh, gotta decide here. 6 level up. Of course, we'll go all wizard. Let me see, kineticist, what, what this is. Uh, kinetic blast. So this is more. It's set like ranged. It can. I think she kind of already has that, right? She ha already has that kin kinetic fist thing. Infusion. Wild talent. Hmm. Yeah. By using infusion along with the kinetic blast, the kineticist can alter, alter her kinetic blast to suit her needs. 
So it's all like elemental blasts. Huh? Can alter only certain kinds of kinetic blasts. Blah blah blah. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Wild talents. Can use wild talents, magical abilities similar to spells, but drawn from the kineticist. Innate psychic talent and usable at will. But typically spell like abilities or supernatural and take standard action. It sounds interesting there. I wonder if the community voted on that one as well, that they wanted this class implemented as quickly as possible. There's like a summoner class, I think, that is uh, that has an Eidolon. That was pretty powerful, I think, as well. And that's not implemented yet, as far as I can see. I uh, don't remember if Summoner is the co correct name for the class. It's, it's quite uh, OP, or it was at some point. At, le at least that's what I read back then, a few years ago. Trickery. Stealth. Knowledge. Well, I think I'm overdoing it with that knowledge stuff. Mmm, use magic device? Nah, let's go mobility. Spell focus, choose a school, 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 school of magic. Any spells you cast are more difficult to resist. Hmm, I don't know, I kind of want to do something else. Combat casting. Plus four on concentration checks. I try to avoid this. If she's in combat, in melee combat, something has gone horribly wrong anyway. Elemental focus. Certain elements are more difficult to resist. Hmm. Energy type. Oh, I see. Hmm. Could be. Could be interesting. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe mana magic of some sort. Or spell penetration. You spe your spells break through spell resistance more easily. Has that been the problem though? Plus two. Mm. Specialization. Select one spell. You cast that spell was greater than normal power. Treat your caster level as being too high for all level variable effects of the spell. Every time you gain a level in spellcasting class, you can choose a new spell to replace the spell selected with this feat, and that spell becomes a specialized spell. Oh. Reach. Your spells go farther than normal, but it also needs to be like two level higher. And that's what I really don't like about the mana magic. I see. I somehow have a feeling that the cost is too high, but I think I've read that. I keep on reading about it that. Mm, a lot of people are very fond of that, of that meta magic. Nevertheless, maybe if if you reach like higher levels, I'm not sure. So let's see what would I take of those feet. If I, what do I need more? Quicken spell. You can cast spells in a fraction of the normal time. Swift action. Meh. Rage. Yeah, maybe. Reach could be at some point interesting. Because, especially like if you start the battle, uh, you can cast it from further away, so that could be interesting. Last longer. Yeah, I want to be stuck in my web twice as long as possible. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, empower spells. Deal more damage, definitely. Yeah, we need that, right? Damage, that's what we need. And since she loves to cast that acid, but I think that it will be limited then, right? But let's try it out. Okay, let's read it first. You increase the power of your spells, causing them to deal more damage. Benefit. All variable numeric effects of an empowered spell are increased by half, including bonuses to those rolls. Hmm. 
Saving throws and opposed rolls are not affected, nor are spells without random variables. Okay, so it's all about the variables. Level increase plus two. An empowered spell uses up a spell slot two level levels higher. That's a lot. That's really a lot than the spell's actual level. And for that, for like you get plus half the damage uh, increased. Oh well, not only damage, but all numeric and variable effects, including bonuses. Well, I, I'll, I have to try it out, if it is really that good. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. So... How would I do this then? I really have to take a look, a close look at her spell book then later. Oops, no, I didn't want to. Alright. We get plus two spells up here. Beast shape. Slow. Ah, uh, that's a uh, crowd control AoE. That's uh, that would be an alternative to web. It is not as good though, and it it goes towards will though. Will negates, not reflex. So we would have more options. That is always good. It doesn't like hold them completely though. An affected creature moves and attacks at a drastically slowed rate. Creatures affected by this spell are staggered. Additionally, it takes a minus one penalty on attack rolls. Oh, that's that's good. AC and reflex size. How long does it? A uh, one round per level. Huh. That's not so good. Multiple slow effects on stack. Slow dispels haste. Moves ha at half its normal speed. That's still quite fast. Deep slumber. No, that's more my main kind of thing. Displacement, what does this do? The subject, I can target it, so it's not personal. To appears to be about two feet away. 50% missed chance, total concealment. Alright. Lightning bolt, ah, now we're talking. That's the thing that stupid wisp fired on me. Powerful stroke of electrical energy. And it goes along a line. Hmm, very interesting. Let's uh, mark this one. See, invisibil invis invisibility communal. That's a good one. But is it really worth the slot? Hmm, you can see any objects or beings that are invisible within your range of vision. Oh, my favorite, stinking cloud. One round per level of fortitude. So this is another saving throw. Sinking Cloud creates a bag of fog, like blah blah blah. Nauseating. Mm, lasts as long as it's in the cloud and for 1d4 plus 1 rounds. Any creature that succeeds on its save but remains in the cloud must continue to save each round. This is a poison affair. Ah, that's not as good as I thought. No, I liked it in D and D, where it actually like uh, make, made you unconsciousness, uh, unconscious. Summon monsters freeze, and that's it already. They don't want me to take that because it's aberration and necromancy. Haste, that's a good one as well. Um, and it is transmutation school. So, what does this specialist school, what does this give us? Again, mm, each occur, blah blah blah, you can occur. in addition, oh, hang on, Th must be made, each okay in school gives the wizard a number of school powers, oh, it gives, gives, gives me some spells, in addition, specialists uh, receive an additional spell slot of each spell, level he can cast from first one up. 
Uh, will that appear later? Each day I was a camp of blah. The spell must be blah. A wizard can select the spell modified by Meta Magic feed to prepare in his school slot, but it uses up a higher level spell slot. Alright, whatever. Hey, so how long does it? One round per level. Mm, I, l I used to like it a lot. Fireball would be nice also, though. Oh, do I have... I have Fireball already. Why don't I use it? I never use it. Something's wrong! Oh, I cannot choose it? Why not? Weird. Do I already have it? I don't get it. Well... So, it definitely is Lightning Bolt then, and... Oh, uh, well, let's take Slow. Because it also is like a debuff on, on a... It's a group debuff. Beast shape, hang on. You become a medium wolf. You gain a plus two size, so it's like a druid, right? It's a shape-shifting thing. Mm. Plus two size bonus to your strength and plus two natural. Your movement speed is increased. You gain 1d6 bite and tripping bite. Yeah, nah, nah. I want to stay ranged. How oh, 30 foot burst. Close range, so yeah, that's not that good. I need far, far. I need to be far, far away. Conjuration, medium range. Hmm, nauseated. I'm not sure if it is that good. Summon, not another summoning thing. Oh well, transmutation is our school, so let's take it. There we go. Um, let's see the spell book. So, we don't need to choose from here. How would I do the mathematics? Meta magic thing. All oh, right. Got to get used to this now. So, if I want to enlarge what would what would be the param parameter that would change? 1 minute per level would that hold for a longer time then? If I do it like um, maximize spell and power spell, uh, how would I do that? Decoration. I mean, that's awesome that I'm allowed to change the decoration here. But uh, at the moment, I'm more interested in write the spell. Does it take up? slots okay so this is now it has all the same stats right level one hmm weird <laughs> man I will right after this I will try it out so um I just want to know ready. if, um, so yeah, we can do this as often as we want, so that is no problem. And we have only magic missile, that's good. Snowball, yeah, that's crap. Reduce person, unfriendly creature, yeah. Oh, we can like, no, what do the two dots, the gray things up there mean... I don't even know. Way of sickening. Well, a lot of web. Molten orb. We barely use that, to be honest. I think I will switch that for the acid arrow. Because we have to be, like, close-ranged, and that's never a good idea. This is long range, beautiful, beautiful long ranged. So, oh, we do have haste now. Great, 
and we do have to slow. Oh, we have lo level three now. I see. So we can long range, perfect, and the lightning ball bolt. Uh, so it's not slot slow in a slot yet. All right. Let's save. And finally, let's level up our main guy. Right, there was that thing. We were going for the arcane trickster. Knowledge arcana for ability to cast arcane spell, spell second level, and mobility for. Alright. What do we get? Combat casting adept. At third level, you get a plus two on concentration checks. Oh well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, cool! We do get magic missile as well now. Oh, yeah, right. We had a cane bloodline. Hmm. That's that's good. So we're basically a true mage now. Mobility, it was right. Hmm. What else? Yeah, let's go stealth for for all those missions when we are on our own. Not too many, but it is really helpful if you have it. Then, oh, not enough points. Well, all my rogue skill points, magic device, everything is uh, dropping. Can't keep up with every everything here. Beautiful magic missile. Finally, a good spell. Not that acid crap. Even though it killed the <laughs> the freaking will o' wisp now. So we wanna be fabulous, basically, right? All the glitter, glamour, crowd control. Uh, do we have a certain? Well, do we already have enchantment as a special school? Maybe not. Uh, some, some down. Mm, touch of Christlessness, stunning barrier. Ah, that ugly stone fist. Enough of that already. Shock and grasp. Touch range. No, thank you. Shield, one minute per level, that is good. Negates magic missiles, attack at you. Plus four to AC. Hmm. That's not bad. I would prefer some enchantment and crowd control though. Hypnotism. Hmm. It is uh H D related so mage armor alright on our per level mm, yeah it doesn't really help us so does it I'm not even sure flare burst alright that's crap that doesn't do damage Burning hands, good old burning hands. Fifteen feet cone. Any creature in the area of flames takes one d four points of fire damage. Hmm. Hmm. Well, divination, illusion is always an option as well. Yeah, I think I'll go with Vanish. It fits the rogue theme and sing, right? Yeah, you never know when you need that. Ah, lightning bolt. Awesome. And more stuff, fireball and whatnot. And what's this? Haste. Haste. That's great. 
Oh, we're getting some good spells now. Um Adventures await. Let's let me see your spell book here. Alright, you are Oh, hang on. You are a sorcerer. That means you can actually cast five time vanish if you want to. <laughs> or six every day. That's awesome. That's a lot actually. Totally forgot about that. Great. So now let's save on another slot. And yeah, I'm going to end the game here. Uh, not really spectacular, just some leveling up. But hey, you got to do that as well, right? No stopping now. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll see more of the f flora and fauna, the plant life around here. Looks promising if you ask me. Bye bye guys. Have a good holidays and whatever you're celebrating or not celebrating. Um, if we don't see each other anymore. Bye.